In this demonstration, we will show you the capabilities of our logging and logging analytics services. We'll begin at the enterprise dashboard. This is the custom dashboard that I've created, bringing together my most important applications, database servers, along with all its telemetry in one unified view. Uh, on the dashboard, we see an HTTP timeout in our eMedia application. Let's go see what's happening here. OCI makes it easy for me to generate alerts with direct integration with OCI monitoring and notifications. Clicking the alert lands me directly into the OCI logging search page with all of my contacts pre-filled in for me to begin my investigation. Looking down below, I see the actual result that triggered my alarm. This specific log event corresponds to a failure in my application front end. The specific error being shown is an HTTP 408 error. When I look at the log line, I can see the exact front end host, request IP, the latency, and the detailed error message. When I ingest a log into OCI logging, my log is automatically parsed and made searchable, which is powered by a FluentD agent where every event is normalized into the common CNCF cloud events format. So it looks like our application front end server returned an error that says exceeded timeout threshold. This could be caused by a variety of different issues in my stack, for example, issues on the back end or the load balancer or the network. I want to trace down exactly where this request from this specific IP address went through my entire stack to see at what points things broke. So I'm simply going to take the IP address and paste it into my search box. I'm now able to see results from my entire stack as it relates to this IP address. I can now easily trace exactly what happened with this request. I see the request coming into the front end machine receiving that request and the load balancer doing the assignment of that request to one of our load balanced infrastructure components. Then I see a variety of network traffic that looks a little bit unusual going through the application and ultimately a back end timeout. Also, logging allows us to easily integrate and visualize hundreds of thousands of log lines with just a few clicks. I want to drill into what's going on in my VCN4 logs. When I click on the Visualize tab, I can now see the aggregated count of every single inbound and outbound request across my entire network. It looks like there is an abnormal amount of traffic happening here, so I need to understand a little more about what's going on in my OCI network. I'm going to escalate this question into OCI Logging Analytics. OCI Logging Analytics uses advanced visualizations and applied machine learning to find the needle in the haystack, even among very large amounts of log data. Right now, we are looking at all the VCN flow logs from our compartment, which is almost a million rows. If you look at a single entry from one of these logs, we can see that we've parsed and enriched the information from these logs, enabling us to do things like classify the action, which in this case was a packet reject. Why don't we see if packet rejection is part of a network problem? By dragging the action field into a group by window and resorting our chart, we see that vast majority of packets have been accepted, so packet rejection is not a networking problem. Let's explore a different question. Perhaps we have some unusual traffic coming from servers that are not normally part of our network traffic. Let's resort all of the log records to look at the IP addresses generating traffic. We see we have some noisy telemetry servers here, but those are not unusual, so that's clearly not our problem either. We can further get a quick view of the trends in traffic from our servers by simply looking at another visualization, and we don't see anything unusual in that trend charts either. Note that all of this analysis is happening automatically. We have many other out-of-the-box visualizations available, which we can put into a dashboard like this one. But let's get back to a troubleshooting scenario. We saw the problems were not packet rejection and were not unusual traffic from our public servers. So let's use some machine learning to search for one-time anomalies. Logging analytics ships with a variety of out-of-the-box machine learning algorithms that have been optimized for operational data. We are looking at the output of a link analysis, which automatically stitches together the data. This table shows a summary of network traffic from each source to each destination over a period of time. And you can even see the type of traffic that has been automatically inferred from the log data. Now we'll still got 600,000 rows of logs, which is too much. So let's use some additional machine learning called clustering to identify the patterns of network traffic. This cluster chart shows trends in network activity over time from various sources to various destinations. 
with the size of bubble indicating the amount of data being transferred. I'm going to refactor the data by total bytes transferred and eliminate the small transfers. And what I will ultimately see is the needle in the haystack cause of our problem, which is a large data transfer from an MP4 file from a web server called Collab Server 1. We can then drill in and quickly see the exact two file transfers that caused the network problem. You'll notice that all of these complex queries are being created automatically. But of course, you could use our query language to write all the stuff manually if you choose. It's not clear that network contention caused what at first appeared to be a set of application errors. So what we have seen here is how logging and log analytics can help you quickly and easily aggregate and search logs and use machine learning and analytics capabilities to do problem diagnostics without requiring you to be a data scientist or even have deep domain knowledge about the logs you are analyzing.